All right, guys, we got a lot of stuff to do today. We are at the Horsepower Obsessed Garage right now, but we are about to jump in the Ram TRX and we're gonna head up to Blackout Tame because we got a package to deliver. We got a new item to review and there's a car up there that I definitely want you guys to see. So let's hop into the TRX and get a move on. It's another beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, guys. You know what that means? We get a cold start of a Ram TRX. I know it's not a Corvette, but we're all adults. We can appreciate a little bit of V8 action, right? Let's hear it. Let's hear a roar. AWE all the way. She's sounding good. All right, so here we are at Blackout Tinning. You can always tell because you got cars like that sitting in the freaking parking lot, but we're here to see something other than the Ferrari, believe it or not, even though that's a pretty freaking cool car. We're also going to spend some time with that guy right there because one of the sponsors of the channel is, of course, ProClip, and we got some, uh, some ProClip parts for that GMC. But let's head in and take a look at what we're really here for. We're actually really here for two different things. So this box right here belongs to Blackout Tinning. And inside that box is some graphics from a company called Underground Graphics. And they sent over some gloss TRX badges for a stealth wrapped TRX that they just recently did. So both bedside TRX logos in gloss and the gloss vinyl piece that sits right here in the front of the hood scoop both of those things for about 130 bucks so i love underground graphics they're actually the ones that provided these ones for me and the stock graphics from mopar are over 800 and from underground graphics you can get pretty much the same thing for about 250 bucks so anyway we're delivering that to blackout we're going to take a look at a really cool car here in a second but before we do i want to talk about the sponsor of today's video and that is going to be again fantic so you guys have seen these devices on my channel before because they keep making freaking awesome products that i keep wanting to test and this one is very similar to another jump pack that we just recently did and if you haven't seen that video i think I actually started my c5 corvette from completely dead to running with a little tiny package like this and that was their previous model this one is a larger milliamp hour battery it's 24,000 instead of 20,000 in the old one this one will charge your devices at 100 watts so if you plug in a macbook or something like that right here it will actually charge it at 100 watts which means your macbook will charge from zero to about 50 percent in less than 30 minutes right there another really awesome thing about this device is that you can actually plug this into your cigarette lighter and charge it up and it will be ready to jump start a car in five minutes and that's if you have no charge in this thing so zero percent you plug it in and five minutes later you are ready to jump someone's car it's absolutely insane it also has some security features on it if you turn on the flashlight which is actually insanely bright hit it again it flashes one more time and it's actually gonna show some road hazard red flashing lights so this thing is very useful to have in the truck and the best part is guys you can save 40 dollars on this thing right now by checking out the link in the description down below huge thank you to fantic for constantly sending me these awesome devices they have literally yet to let me down they are always super high quality and super functional i mean this thing just feels quality for those of you out there who don't know what fantic is Fantic is actually a company that puts together some really awesome automotive enthusiast tools, some stuff that you wouldn't even necessarily know that you need until you need it. And for those out there who are fans of the NASCAR races, you'll most likely recognize their name because they have recently partnered with Kyle Weatherman, who is a NASCAR driver, and Fantic is the primary partner of his in the NASCAR Xfinity series. Anyway, check out that link down below. Let's go take a look at some cool cars. Hey, Aaron. Is this your new car? Brand new. Brand, is it yours? Correct, yep. <laughs> Very cool. So, guys, like I said, that's how you know you're at Blackout Team. There's awesome cars sitting all over the place, but this isn't the one we're here for either. Let's keep looking. All right, so this is why we're here. This is a 70th anniversary Z06, obviously in the pearl white tri coat. I have not seen one of these in person yet. And under certain light, it almost has a, a pink hue to it. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but. It's almost pinkish, it's weird. It's already got 20% XR tint and some Expel up front here. But yeah, guys, this thing, you guys know how I feel about the Z06s, but this thing is looking freaking sweet. So obviously the badge will go back on over top of the Expel here shortly. It's got that 70th anniversary interior, which you either love it or you hate it. Let's take a look at it, because it's here and why not? So comp seats, very cool. 
the competition seats actually invert the colors of the white here. So on a GT2 seat, it's white in the middle and black on the edges. With the competition, it switches that over to what you're seeing here now. So pretty cool. Obviously, we got the stealth package there. All the carbon fiber down the center. Yeah, this thing's nice. Freaking love it. So obviously, all the 70th anniversaries come with 3LZ interiors, but not. they don't all have that carbon fiber. And that definitely looks awesome, of course, with the red seat belts. Always loving the interior on these cars. Love the 70th anniversary door sill. Man, God, I love these freaking cars. I really, really wish I could find one. This is actually a friend of mine who ordered this car, so congrats to him. But yeah, there's the stealth package. Some of you guys haven't gotten to see that in person yet, I know. So stealth kind of blacks that out. Also grays this out. Yeah, very cool. But again, guys, the, the white pearl tri-coat here. Definitely different. It's a different look. Here's your 70th badge, the satin wheels with that edge red stripe, edge red calipers, big carbon ceramic rotors back there. Gotta love that stuff, man. So obviously we got the black exhaust tips back here too, and then the 70th badge right there, convertible with, with of course the black nacelles. So the car has 80 miles on it. And honestly, I would have guessed that it had less, less than that because if we look at the front radiators, they're not destroyed yet. Eh, actually, there's, there's a little mark right there. Someone needs some scrape armor on this thing. These are so, so freaking wide open. I mean, <laughs> that's my hand. That, that, that's just gonna let anything in there. You gotta love how much of this carbon fiber you can see from the outside looking in. Just this little swoop there. A little swoop in the center, and of course, a little swoop right there. Definitely like the attention to detail. They really seem to check the boxes with the Z06. I love how large the radiators are on the side. Even the Z06 logo just, just looks so good. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the reason we came here. The Z06 was up here, but there was a couple cool cars, and there was, there was this guy too. You know, he's been uh, running the Miami shop for a little while, but he's back here in PA. Cool cars, that one specifically, and uh, always a good time up here at Blackout. All right, so while we're here, we had to get the truck washed, of course. Caleb was the man, hooking up, hooking up the TRX with a clean body. We're gonna head out here and install the uh, Pro Clip real quick in Aaron's new GMC Denali. Okay, so like I said, guys, this is Aaron's truck. There's my uh, Ram getting washed, looking beautiful. But Aaron is an Expel staller here at Blackout Tinning. He's one of the best, literally tested one of the best. Either way, we got him a Pro Clip. So as you guys know, Pro Clip is a big sponsor of the channel. And I thought, you know, instead of showing the same clip over and over again, when we're talking about them sponsoring us, let's show some installs. So as always, guys, with the Pro Clip, phone mount in any car you do not have to do any kind of permanent altering to your vehicle so there's no tape no screws nothing busted in the process this one will fit right in between the trim of right below that that wood and then right on top of the actual center console just like that it's installed now obviously i didn't film popping this into place because i couldn't i needed both hands to install it but the amount of time that was in between me showing you where it goes and where it actually went is legit that's how long it took me to pop it into place and you could tell this thing is solid it is on there the next step would be of course to screw on the plate of your choice so whether you have a android phone that would just slide in or an iphone you could use the magsafe charging puck for you can slide it in the old-fashioned way there is a bunch of different options here and of course guys these will all be linked in the description down below along with my code hpo10 to save yourself 10 percent on this entire setup for whatever car you have i have yet to see a car that they don't make one of these for so definitely check them out guys with the magsafe holder option this is what you get so the magsafe puck will actually pop right into here this part will then screw onto the base right here and allow you some versatility with moving it around and it actually comes with the charging adapter here so we'll be able to pop that right in here and run power to the magsafe puck as well so it will charge and hold it magnetically there it is totally installed and all you have to do is smack your iphone right there and it will start charging as well as hold it in place and just like that she's charging oh yeah there she is guys all right nice and clean this truck hasn't seen clean in like 
two or three months. Anyway, we're going to jump in it, head home, wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of a departure from our normal style videos. This was more of a vlog style. There was a bunch of things to do. And whenever I saw there was a Z06 up here, I figured I'd come up here and give you guys a real quick glimpse at it. So I'll catch you in a couple minutes. And just like that, guys, we are back at the Horsepower Obsessed Garage here. I just wanted to kind of take you along for the ride today and show you what a cool car at Blackout Tinning looks like. So I know a lot of you out there are watching for the C8 Corvette Z06 content or just the Corvette content in general, but every now and then you got to take the truck out and get her washed. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. I did a little bit more of a vlog style video today because I wanted to take you along, like I said, see some cool cars while we kind of delivered a package reviewed a new item on the channel and also installed a pro clip hopefully you guys like that stuff smash that thumbs up if you did if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet guys please do i got loads of content coming on both of these creatures behind me and maybe a new one here pretty soon stay tuned for that and you're definitely not going to want to miss any of this stuff guys and as always i will catch you in the next upload